Good evening, everyone, and welcome to another edition of Living Room Sports here on KDKA. Bob Pompiani and Rich Walsh, and we have a dynamic duo with us tonight. Two Super Bowl heroes of the Pittsburgh Steelers, Max Starks, Willie Parker. Gentlemen, thanks for joining us. And first off, Max, I know you've been delving into the sports media world like Rich and myself, and you also know that it's tough to do it without any sports. How are you handling all of this? It, it, it's been fun transitioning and figuring out different creative ways, just like you guys are with how do you present sports opinion news in a way that's socially distanced but yet still connected at the same time. Hey, we miss you guys. That's all I want to say. <laughs> we miss you in here in Pittsburgh. I miss you all too, man. Yeah, we miss you guys too. It, it's funny. I, you know, you look at where Willie and I are. We're on opposite sides of the country, and we're, and we're still connected to Pittsburgh. So that's the lovely bond that we have with that city of our heart. So, Willie, what have you been up to? Oh, uh, man, same here, the social distance, distancing, just chilling at the crib, relaxing, and, and trying to find, like, fun ways to, to make my home exciting, you know? I have to wake up, do the same thing every single day. And, um, you know, when you, have, when you have kids, you have little ones, you have to make it fun for them. So it's just, oh, man, it's just something you wake up every day like I'm gonna try something new I'm gonna do this I'm gonna do that all right we're gonna step outside a little bit today but at the same time try to keep it safe and um keep it fun for everyone all right fast Willie first of all are you still fast <laughs> and second of all what have you been doing with life after football well let's start with number two <laughs> um, <laughs> um life after football I, I'm transitioning to coaching transition over to coaching and um I coach for uh, a little bit now I coach high school ball for a little bit and now um, I'm pretty much transitioning over to coaching Pop Warner my son he's five so I want to be there for him he, he loves sports so I'm gonna be there for him and, and coach him up you know just like as my daddy did me just as my pops did for me and um, number one am I still fast um, I think I think I'm more explosive than anything you know, I can, I can, I play above the rim, Max. Okay, I, there it is. I, I play above the rim. <laughs> I, at 39, I'm 39, actually, and, you know, same as my jersey number, but I play above the rim. I haven't really sprinted in a while, and I know if you don't, you don't, if you don't use that muscle, you'll lose it. So, you know how it go. Um, <laughs> no, nah, I'm not, I'm not as fast as I once was, but I'll be, I'll be majority of, athletes if they come at me wrong yeah i wanted to ask you guys what's your best memory together as a Steeler? now that we're all together right now what stands out what do you guys think about when i when i when i see max on the call on the zoom call with me what stands out with big max um i think when when we we both for we all have those nicks and those aches and those pains and you know it's kind of crazy but there's a lot of things people don't talk about and, and we overcome it. You know, one of your players, they, they, they pretty much hurt, not injured, but hurt. They aching, but they fighting through, they fighting, they ass off every play. And you're looking at them like, okay, you're a little soldier. I, I think the same way. And I actually remember, this was a vivid one for me. I remember when we went back to, Car remember when we played Carolina in the regular season, Will? Oh man, yeah. <laughs> and. Yeah. I just remember how hyped Willie was before the game. And I actually um, tore my meniscus in warm-ups before that game. And they're like, well, we already submitted the 90 minutes prior of the inactive. So you got to dress. Huh. Like, what? He's like, yeah, you got to dress. We, we already submitted the list. We can't change the list. So I'm like, oh, God. Well, I said, well, listen, if – if, if I'm dressing, I'm starting. So I'm like, I got to play this game. And it's against Julius Peppers. Mm -hmm. And I just remember we were in this game and, you know, I was hurting. I just remember Willie just looking at me like, hey, just get the block, big man. Just get, just get the block. hundred like, percent. In my head, I was like, okay, I, I got to do it for my, for my team. And Willie ran crazy on them. All right, let's talk a little bit about Hall of Famer to be Troy Polamalu. Not the hair so much. But let's talk about, you know, when you meet him, when you talk to him, he's as gentle as they come. And yet, on the field, switch goes on, and he's a ferocious competitor. Talk about Troy. From, from what I hear, when, when, when the guys come off the, to the sideline and we kind of transitioning, 
They they say he talk a lot of smack. And when we in the locker room, they like, Troy, you said this? And Troy's like, nah, I didn't say any of that. But but Troy, I don't know about his trash talking personally because I never I never was out there with him. But from the stories the guys say, they say he he's real like intimidating on the field with his words. I've had the blessing. I've known Troy since 2000. I remember meeting Troy back before he had the hair. He had like a, like a little like fade. Troy had a fade back in the day. And then, you know, so I knew that Troy. And then I go to the Steelers at 04. And I'm like, hey, Troy, what's up, man? How you been? You know, what's Alex? Oh, God bless you and keep you. You know, I mean, I was like, <laughs> I was like, uh, it's a little weird. And Troy is legendary. Troy just made these one comments. Good luck on this next play. And like, just walk away from the line of scrimmage. Like, you know, or after the play, he's like, yeah, you're, you're not, you're not going to get in the end zone this play. He would just have like these one liners that he would just hit you with. And you're just like, this is Troy. Will, are you faster than Troy? Because Ike Taylor told me Troy was sneaky fast. Yeah, his game speed is amazing. Um, I, 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 I'm at a loss of words, like, when it comes to that. I never seen him get, get caught from behind, ever, ever. And then to see how he come off the edge, like, he's explosive, man. You ever seen Troy hands? He has some enormous hands. <laughs> like, but he's a, he's a freak. Like, so as far as am I faster than him, uh, I'm not going to say no, but I'm not going to say yeah either. <laughs> All right, thank you guys very much. Speaking of fast, this show is moving along very quickly. When we come back, we're going to talk to these two guys about a play that still holds a place in Super Bowl history. That's next on Living Room Sports.